and now we are going to watch a totally different fragment that uh, Han brought us, and we are very curious to know why he picked it. Okay, the next scene is a, uh, just a small excerpt of um, a moment of quite uh, heavy tension. She gets a phone call, which is, again, greatly agitates her, and uh, so it's maybe interesting to first watch it. Hello? I knew you'd be there. Who is this? You have to kill him before he kills you. You understand? You understand? Who? Hello? Who is this? Okay, so there, uh, yeah, there are a couple of uh, maybe interesting things for this scene too. Um, first, I I was talking about this doing my own uh, orchestration and try to be as uh, idiosyncratic as much uh, as much as possible. I thought something quite weird here is that the violinists have uh, to uh, put extensive pressure on their bow when they're playing, and then when when you you have to play really near the bridge, otherwise you use, uh, lose your tone completely. But when you do that, and it really gets excessive, you get this almost acoustic uh, distortion sound, which I, I really liked. And this was actually a big deal to record, because these violinists are... They just spend their whole musical life playing without artifacts, you know? They, they, they studied for four hours a day just to get rid of those. And now someone comes in and says, okay, do it differently. <laughs> really more, a lot of pressure. More, but more, <laughs> more. And they were really reluctant. And I said, can we put, you remember, I just said, yeah. can, you, can, you put, can you do more? And then it was just a bit. And then at a certain moment, they, they caught it. And then they really liked it. It was interesting because they, they wanted to do it again and again. And the directors or the conductor said something like, they really have lots of fun with this new toy. <laughs> so uh, that was nice, but it was really hard to get them there because they, and then uh, uh, this happens here. And what's also nice, you, they gradually uh, put more pressure on the bow. So it also, what I always like is it creeps in. So at first it seems to be a normal violent tone, but then this distortion sort of uh, gets louder and louder. Yeah, you can hear the microtonality again. Just at the start of the scene, when it swells, there's a, a touch of it. Then it gets swept away by the orchestra. Then at the end, you can hear again small bouts of microtonality and then the harp playing around it. And I really try to get them as near at each other as possible without it being too dissonant. So that's important. And a, f a third thing to mention maybe is that uh, there's one central thing I use throughout the film. Um, maybe we can listen to it separately, but uh, it's, a, it's a downward chord progression. And it happens every time when she is descending into darkness, either literally or uh, more symbolically speaking. So when there are things going down, figuratively speaking, or she just, at a certain point, she just 
descending stairs towards the dark cellar. I use it there all the time. So there's this dark movement down. Then the orchestra starts creeping back towards its, norm, its um, first position, and then it goes down again. And I use that lots of times. Here, it's also present. So again, she uh, picks up the phone. There's this guy speaking. And there, this downward motion yeah. uh, is played. This, this whole project, it sounds like a lot of work because it's a it full is. feature movie. Yeah. And um, yeah, it, uh, yeah, you, you definitely. might have written several pieces for one scene or went back to the drawing board. I don't know. But how do you deal with that? I mean, uh, well, uh, not. <laughs> <laughs> you try to. Yeah, there, there was uh, one scene uh, um, I, I had on a certain moment, version 9. No, 13 even, I think. Hmm? <laughs> Myrod had some, there were some, some quite troublesome scenes here in, in this, for him this time, so. And then they, you just start over. Yeah. Yeah. But then you lose your, well, your, your freshness. And your, yeah. So you, you really it's, have to yeah. shoot two or three times you can, you can try things, but then you just lose it. Yeah, just, nine times sounds like a it's, lot. Yeah, it's too much. Ridiculous. It's too much, yeah. 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 Or would you then say, okay, what would you do and pick up from someone else or? Yeah, there was even one scene where I took over, but then the yeah. way, right? again, this didn't really work out. This, yeah. this, because this still yeah. was uh, a really, Sometimes directors, that, that's, that's a bit of, I mean, of course you can't, uh, it, I mean, it's uh, forgivable, but they, they have worked with this temp music mm -hmm. during the whole editing process. So they yeah. really yeah. love certain moments of that. Yeah. And then when you start um, composing, as a composer, you, you introduce a complete, completely new sound world. And, but then directors like that when it's working, but then there are, certain scenes which they still want this temp yeah. vibe and uh, that doesn't really fit into your thematic world your new yeah. musical world so that can be yeah, especially for my kind of I, I like to write pretty me me melodic yeah, and melodies have uh, tell tell a story so yeah uh, and the story has to fit exactly on on what the temp did yeah, so this is really impossible. Well, yeah. that is what the director uh, wants. Yeah. But this, it's, it's almost, an, almost possible. Yeah, then it, it becomes, are you taking it as an inspiration or are you copying or are the director you... Wants no, 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 you no, no, to no, copy no. I, I refuse to do that. Okay. No, yeah. that's, uh, no that's a matter of principle. Yeah. yeah. Shitting. Yeah. Shitting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but also it's because what I first what I said earlier, you, you can never reach the original, then you will have a bad copy of the original. So yeah. you will be worse than a time track. Well, that's, that's not an option. Yeah. It, it's, uh, I think it's, it's a much better idea to uh, make on, on certain scenes the music before the, ed the editing starts. Yeah, that would but that's be ideal. A, but that's a very time-consuming, and, and it's, it's it's not very practical. Yeah. But it's uh, it would be uh, better in in uh, uh, another short movie of, uh, of um, Albert Albert uh, we, we did that, and it's it's very it's very beautiful. Yeah, that's really yeah. gratifying to do that. Yeah. But that's there are also still composers I know who demand that there will be no temp tracks used. In the yeah. editing, but uh, I it's really impossible. think that's not yeah. a tenable. I mean, that's yeah, not a position you can hold now because yeah. well, you just part of, of of the craft is to deal with temp track. So, yeah. Yeah. but it can be because also again, uh, music is um, not so. Uh, it's is slower than than images because it's just the medium is slower. You can you can yeah. change things, but not as not as fast. And directors somehow still think that you can just start your thing really easy, come in and then at certain moment, but here it should be like the temp. And then you're yeah. lost because you can't do that. You're not that quick, you but they, they can't, sometimes they can't seem to understand that music is a, a just a slower medium. It's really powerful, but well, it's slower. Some yeah. of your music. Uh, no, it's really quick. I mean, this, <laughs> yeah. Okay, but you can't, no, it is really, music is always, uh, well, comes later with yeah. changes. You can just, you and have you to can, fake yeah. things. And you can stop an image and still see it, 
but you cannot stop music and still yeah. hear it. No, yeah, so, for, for instance. instance. And you can just make a schnitt to something completely different. Yeah. If you do that with music, it would be, well, ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to uh, leave things in and, 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 but it's still, then they say, yeah, this is good, this is good, this is good. No, here it's not good, and here it's good, 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 good again. Which is, well, you, you, can't, you can't change it there, because if you change something here, you have to start from, yeah. from the top. Yeah, and in the view of the director, it's, it's, uh, it's almost okay. Yeah. It's great. But it, it but isn't. It's it's completely I, I start all start all over. It's yeah. only this yeah. piece over here. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing more. Yeah. For, yeah but for music him. is again much more holistic than that. You just take out one piece of puzzle and just the whole thing yeah. collapses. Collapses. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's also hard. Yeah. We were talking about time earlier. Um, you need a lot of time to work on on such a project. Mm -hmm. um, does it help? Um, to have a more introvert character and uh, live in your studio, basically. Yeah, okay. yeah, um, yeah. I think actually this this whole uh, uh, profession is is really suitable for introverts because the, it's uh, you're secretly manipulating things behind the screen. You know, you're pulling strings, but uh, people hardly notice the music. Uh, so that's also a drawback because you're never in the spotlight, so you you, you miss some well a recognition for your craft. But then it's really good to silently, secretly, uh, behind the screen work. So I know lots of film composers who are um, introverts. And then again, of course, you work alone. Yeah. So you need to do be be able to do that because yeah. it's largely a really lonely job. Do you then enjoy working on this movie? A little bit more because you can work together. Is yeah, it more that's, social? That's yeah, well, a good thing. But we, we don't we, work together in. No, but music. we have uh, yeah. uh, with a few composers in in the, in the same building, which is uh, uh, very very nice. Yeah, yeah. it's. Uh, I, that's I, a plus, I can't definitely. imagine to do it all on my own and and uh, never see anyone with the coffee uh, by uh, the coffee machine. Yeah, no daylight in your studio. I have daylight. But you have studio. daylight. Yeah. In no, your I, don't, I don't. I <laughs> don't. Okay. <laughs>